going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Last time we got over a hundred thousand in cash and I think today is going to be the day that we look at buying a used truck. So these are the four that we could afford. Almost afford this Volvo. That doesn't have any permanent wear. Uh, if we took one more. These are all pretty close to what? Got lower mileage. Looks like 1% uh, permanent wear. A little bit of wear on all the parts. But I think this is going to be a little bit further out of it. It's got a larger fuel tank, but uh, these are kind of the four that we've got narrowed down. And all of them have 1% permanent wear. But I think, I think this international, it's got the least amount of part wear. So I'm kind of leaning towards this one. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Um, okay. Can I... Phoenix Garage? That'll work. Can you, looks like, I assume you could set up other garages elsewhere. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to remember the, the International 9900. Um, out of curiosity, can we duck down to Tucson just to, just to price out what a new vehicle is? That's only 2600 Uh, year 164. I do like the look of that one. Uh, that's almost 200k. That might be down the road. We don't have the cash for that. But I will admit, I like, I like the look of it. But maybe we will also be able to check out other truck dealerships as we come across them. But I think it's time to get our own truck. So I think we're going to run with you. Numbers are all still the same. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and assign it to the Phoenix. And there we go. We'll be immediately brought to your garage in Phoenix. Regular insurance already paid. Fantastic. So we've got our first truck. Uh, we can customize it. As for truck upgrades, uh, don't know if we, well, we've only got like four grand. And right now we're going to be paying for, uh, we're going to be paying for gas. So that's also going to be a thing that we're going to have to deal with. Take a quick look at truck manager. So this is all the trucks that we currently have. Well, just the one, which is fine. Uh, total miles, that's decent. Um, we, okay, so we can sell it. We could do a total restore, which not going to touch right now. We could upgrade. Just need to visit a service station. That's fine. Oh, we could just drive. We are currently in Phoenix. Let's just drive around Phoenix for a second and see if maybe we could track down any of the other uh, dealerships and uh, just kind of open up kind of the uh, the Phoenix area a little bit. I'm glad that you guys are here joining me on this just random wanderings. Can we fix up our garage too? I assume we can. 
So it looks like there's a skylight in it. Um, where am I at? There's a question mark basically behind me and to the left. I don't know if just backing out on the streets is a good idea, but hey, we'll do it anyways. We're good to go. At least just wander around a little bit around where the uh, the garage is just to see what we're looking at. There's a Kenworth over here. Let's at least pull in because I think it'll trigger that we found the dealership. Yeah. There's a service entrance over there on the side as well. Out of curiosity. So, 1400 Oh, trade-in value. Okay. So I could get a brand new one for just two grand. Interesting. I do... Ooh. Is there a way that's going to turn the lights on? There's not a way to do an interior shot, is there? I don't see one, but that's okay. I feel I like the sleeker looking ones, something like this, but that's okay. But we did discover another dealership, uh, yes. And so we, m I'm trying to decide if uh, we end up doing a, uh, a trade in the near future. But uh, first things first, let's continue on our our wanderings here. There's forty two print. going left. All right, so this is where the Walbert is. We've got, looks like another Walbert around the corner. And I'm just absolutely speeding here. Let's... <laughs> Let's rein this in. Got a new truck and I'm excited to show it off to y'all. I will head around to the right. Getting used to things. Uh, we'll go down to the next street, we'll make a right, and then we'll kind of head back to the garage. And we'll look at taking out a job. Assuming I don't get any more tickets.
Officer, really, I just, I just bought my, just bought this truck. It's brand new. You are just following me too right now. This cop's just waiting on me to make a, uh, another false move to ticket me again. Hey, officer. <laughs> okay. Make sure we signal. There's Officer McTicket here. Oh, you're just gonna follow me, aren't you? And we will pull back the door. All right. I'm okay. Size is tiny. I assume it's referring to Phoenix or my truck. No, no, no. Oh, or my garage. I can upgrade my garage. We don't have 180,000. Guess that's okay. Okay. Don't want to deal with the recruitment agency. Let's... Can I take a job? Got it. Okay, let's... What did the job market? And I think we want the freight contract. So I assume this... We're going to actually have to drive to these locations pick it up, and then go from A to B. What is out of Phoenix? So, if we sort by origin. Actually, we just sort by Phoenix. Uh, I want to go from Phoenix. So there's a Phoenix to Bakersfield. I'm also operating on the assumption that you're going to only offer jobs my vehicle can handle. That's an interesting question. Um, there's truck diagnostics, which we haven't taken a look at yet. Don't know. Okay, let's go back into the freight market for a second. Uh, again, we will sort by Phoenix. And maybe we take something shorter for our first time out. Uh, there's Phoenix to El Centro, Phoenix to Flag, Phoenix to Fresno is a longer haul. Kingman. Let's pop back here. And where was that Phoenix to flag? 6,000, which isn't bad. Maybe we'll just do a short run. From Phoenix to flag for our first time out. Ooh, that's a little faster than I wanted it to be. I assume you're going to show me where I need to go, right? I 
How about we stop while we're playing around with our map? Um, oh, so we actually have to come down here. Okay. And then we pop back up the flag. Got it. Okay, I'm... Things are getting clearer. Now we're going to try not to speed. Me. We're also going to make sure we have the correct camera view. Hey, officer. Nothing worse than brick walls or trees around corners. Not used to driving without a trailer. So my foot's a little heavier than it normally is. Ah, there's a direct hire location. Is that the recruitment agency, I wonder? You don't have a stop sign, do you? Broke and gas. The dealership was nice enough to give us a full tank of gas. the one stretch of the Phoenix freeway system that's 55 where everything else is 65. Oh, hi. gonna be one of those driving days, I can already feel it.
Oh my gosh. What are we doing? Is one to Santa Maria. That is a bit more. It is a 13 or 10 hour drive. That's a good chunk of money. The dollar per mile is close to the same. But we haven't been too deep into California. So part of me is tempted to take that one. You know what? Tell you what, we will take this one and we will actually pick that up in the next episode. Well, thanks. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. We got our first truck, which I'm kind of excited about. But uh, next time we will take this long haul. We will probably have to uh, stop off in Ehrenberg and take a rest as we go into California. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in American Truck Simulator. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.